Hi, hello. Today, let me show you how to use the SSH command to log into the remote host. Now, the basic syntax of the SSH command is SSH and uh, port number. If the destination host is specified a post number, we have to use this option and uh, destination host details. That is the destination host uh, username and the IP address. So the first option we're going to see in SSH command is logging into the remote host. Uh, I'm taking example as user2 as the destination host uh, username and the IP is 192.168.7.251 While entering this, it will ask for a password directly Here, I am logging into the another user and another IP here it asks for the RSK key fingerprint confirmation. Now it actually means that uh, this user once home directory, it will generate a RSK key for the destination that is 7.2 IPs uh, or a key fingerprint. So if I give S, yes, it will generate an automatic key into user once directory and it will ask for the destination's password. This RSK key can be viewed in this following uh, field. Win dot ssh known host there you can see the key generated in case if the warning message is displayed uh, we can manually remove the old rsa key here and it will automatically generate new key in some destination host uh, they will be assigning a port number so if i uh, log into the other user without the port number then the connection will be refused so the required port number has to be mentioned with the option called hyphen p so now i am giving the port number 21498 then it will enter into the destination post successfully now let me see how to transfer the data using scp command with the help of ssh now In desktop, you can see the file called newfile.txt. So now I am moving this file through SCP source path user1 desktop newfile.txt and the destination that is user2 192.168.7.251 user's destination IP and the destination path user2 desktop so now it will ask for the destination's password and after the password is entered you can see the file is transferred successfully to the destination next we see uh, the same file transferring through our sync command our sync and source file.txt and the destination and the destination path to user to desktop so it will ask for the password and the file will be transferred successfully in case the destination host is assigned with a port number uh, we have to use the option called hyphen e in our sync to notify we are using uh, ssh port number and in single quotes we have to mention ssh hyphen p and the port number so now the file will be transferred the next option we see is debugging the client uh, now i am taking this user 2 as the destination port uh, destination host and this host is assigned with the port number so now i am debugging in ssh using the option hyphen v and the user to at 192.168.7.251 so now uh, it will debug the connection establishment and if the connection establishment is not enabled it will return the error that is uh, the destination is assigned with a port number so i didn't mention the port number it returns the message called connection refused with port number so now i am mentioning the port number 
2.1498 so uh, it will uh, debug the whole content that is whole path uh, and it will ask for the password once the password is given it will enter into successfully the next option we see is command execution from local host that is from our local host we can execute the command in the remote host that is ssh and the destination username and the ip and at last uh, the command we're going to execute uh, i'm using ls that is uh, listing the destination user to desktop so it will ask for the password the password is given uh, the contents in the destinations desktop will be listed here successfully in Linux, open SSH requires the version of the other host sometimes to log into it. Uh, for that, we have to know the SSH version. So the option is SSH-B. So you can get the version of the open SSH. These are the basic usages of SSH command. Thank you.